Have you ever wondered how some people stay calm in the eye of the storm while the rest of us can barely stand up in a breeze? Today, we're diving into the secret world of stoic women, silent warriors of serenity, and discovering how they turn storms into gentle breezes. This isn't just another video. It's a key that can unlock a strength within you that you didn't even know existed. But I challenge you, stick with us until the end. Absorb every word and see if you don't come out of here a little more stoic, a little more unshakable. And if you find that we've uncovered something valuable together, something game-changing, subscribe and join our journey. Do you think you can take on this challenge? Let's find out. In a world where each person carries a universe of peculiarities, stories and dreams, there is a group that stands out for its strength, maturity and a certain aura of mystery that piques our curiosity. I'm talking about stoic women, figures who break with conventional expectations and invite us to dive into an ocean of ancient wisdom. Yes, they are like beacons in the storm, remaining firm, controlled and serene, even when life's waves try to knock them down. Now imagine for a moment that you are in the presence of a stoic woman. She has the kind of presence that doesn't need words to be felt. There's something about her that challenges norms, an independence that doesn't come from isolation, but from a deep connection with the essence of life and the principles of Stoicism. Ah, Stoicism. A philosophy as ancient as it is current, which teaches the power of emotional control, the beauty of a life guided by reason, and the strength of self-sufficiency. But what really makes these women so fascinating and admirable? It's simple, yet at the same time, complex. They have understood something that many of us are still trying to decipher, the art of living well. It's not just about avoiding suffering or incessantly seeking happiness. It's about navigating life's storms with an internal compass calibrated by wisdom and reason. In a society that often values excess emotions, impulsive reactions, and dependence on external validation, stoic women emerge as examples of a different path. A path that challenges you to look inward, to question your beliefs, and to build an unshakable inner fortress. They live with purpose, with a clarity of thought that enables them to face the most difficult challenges with surprising calmness. This video is an invitation to explore this world, to discover what it means to be a stoic woman in today's world. Let's together unravel the secrets of these extraordinary women, understand how they apply stoic teachings in their lives, and perhaps find inspiration to tread our own path with more wisdom, resilience, and independence. So are you ready for this journey? Let's dive headfirst into this adventure of self-discovery and exploration, exploring the legacy of stoic women, their stories, their challenges, and their victories, with every step, with every story, you will see that behind the apparent serenity, there is a force that moves mountains, an indomitable spirit that not only survives, but thrives in the face of life's adversities. Characteristics of Stoic Women At the heart of Stoic philosophy, we find a set of characteristics that, while they may seem made of steel and determination, actually weave the essence of what it is to be a Stoic woman, these are not just admirable qualities. They are vital tools for navigating the tumultuous seas of everyday life. Let's start with self-confidence. A stoic woman possesses an inner compass that guides her, an unwavering certainty in her abilities and values. She doesn't need the noise of the world to know who she is or what she's worth. This self-confidence doesn't stem from arrogance, but from deep self-knowledge and acceptance. Direct communication is another gem in her arsenal. She speaks with clarity and purpose without beating around the bush. Her dialogues are not a maze of half words or hidden intentions. She says what she means, respecting truth and sincerity, thereby facilitating genuine and effective communication 
Adaptability reveals her ability to flow with changes, like water that molds to the container that holds it. In times of turbulence, she adjusts, finds new paths, showing that true strength doesn't lie in rigidity, but in the ability to adapt. Natural leadership emerges from this blend of self-confidence, direct communication, and adaptability. She doesn't lead by power, but by example, inspiring those around her to rise along with her. Her leadership is a beacon, not a command. Being enigmatic is perhaps one of her most fascinating qualities. There's something about her that goes beyond the comprehensible. A mystery that is not a game or a riddle to be solved, but an invitation to look closer, to understand that not everything needs to be revealed to be true. Her aversion to gossip is a reflection of her integrity. She chooses words that build, not destroy. By refusing to engage in conversations that diminish others, she strengthens not only herself, but also the fabric of the community around her. Her non-judgmental approach opens doors and hearts. She listens without hurry to conclude, understands before responding. This ability to welcome without judging makes her a valued confidant, a true friend. And finally, her strength in the face of adversity is the cornerstone of her essence. She faces storms, not with the denial of pain, but with the acceptance of struggle, knowing that it is in the challenge that one grows, that one learns. These characteristics are not exclusive to stoic women. They are aspirations for all of us. But in the stoic woman, we find a shining example of how to live according to principles that withstand the test of time and circumstances. It's an invitation to reflect on our own lives, on how we can incorporate these qualities into our daily lives, becoming perhaps a bit more stoic in the process. If you're still listening, leave your mark in the comments by writing, I am stoic. Let's continue. The importance of emotional control and self-sufficiency. Imagine walking on an unfamiliar trail where each step reveals not only the beauty of the landscape, but also its challenges. Now think about traversing this path with an internal compass, one that guides you through calm and storms. This is the power of emotional control and self-sufficiency, two fundamental pillars of Stoicism that women today are rediscovering and incorporating into their lives as a source of strength and inner serenity. Let's talk about the journey of self-discovery. It's a path that takes us to the deepest part of our being, where we find our true values, away from the noise and expectations of the external world. For women who choose to adopt Stoic lessons, this journey is like an adventure toward inner serenity a state of peace that is not shaken by life's storms. Now imagine yourself on any given day, facing the pressures of work, society's expectations, and even those small daily frustrations. In moments like these, emotional control becomes your greatest ally. It allows you to face these situations not as insurmountable obstacles, but as opportunities to practice patience, understanding, and above all, resilience. It's as if in the midst of chaos, you find an oasis of calm within yourself. And what about self-sufficiency? Well, it's not about isolating yourself or claiming that you don't need anyone. It's about recognizing your own ability to face challenges, make wise decisions, and find contentment within yourself without constantly depending on the approval or validation of others. That's true freedom. Historical figures like Seneca and Marcus Aurelius were not just philosophers, they were masters in the art of living. Their words, filled with stoic wisdom, resonate especially with women today. They teach us about the importance of living according to our own values, not just following the crowd. They inspire us to reflect on our lives, to value the tranquility of the mind, and to seek the greater good, not just for ourselves, but for everyone around us. So, how can we apply these teachings in modern life? 
It starts with small steps. Each time we choose to respond instead of react. Each time we seek to understand before judging. We are practicing stoicism. We are building an inner fortress that protects us from external storms and guides us toward a more fulfilling and meaningful life. The truth is that the stoic journey is not easy. It requires courage, discipline, and above all, honesty with oneself. But for women who venture down this path, the rewards are invaluable, serenity, strength, and a deep sense of being at peace with who you really are. And in this process of self-discovery, emotional control and self-sufficiency emerge not just as tools, but as true gifts for a life lived with purpose and fullness. Analogy of feminine personalities with nature. Imagine walking through a dense and mysterious forest. Around you, life pulses in countless forms, each with its essence and purpose. In this tangle of life, you encounter different types of trees, each representing a unique feminine personality. There are the imposing and robust ones that dominate the landscape. The alpha women, leaders by nature, whose presence is as striking as that of great oaks. And then there are the more subtle and flexible ones, the beta women, who like willows adapt and flow with the wind, supporting and enriching the environment around them with their grace and resilience. But as you progress, your eyes are drawn to a tree that stands out not for its grandeur or flexibility, but for its calm and constant presence. This tree, firm and majestic, yet in a way that does not clamor for attention, is the stoic woman. She is like an ancient sequoia, rare, strong, and deeply rooted in the earth. Unlike the others, her strength does not come from the need to dominate or to mold herself to others' expectations, but from her unshakable connection with the essence of life and her own being. The stoic woman is not easily seen by those with superficial glances, for her true beauty and strength lie in the depth of her being. She is like a tree that remains firm against the storms, not because she seeks the sunlight for herself, but because she knows that, by staying true to herself, she can offer shelter and shade to those who approach her. Her presence is a silent reminder that, at the center of all the forest's turmoil of life, there is a point of tranquility and inner strength. In this forest metaphor, each type of feminine personality, whether alpha, beta, or stoic, plays a vital role in the diversity and balance of the ecosystem. However, the stoic woman, like the distinctive tree she represents, teaches us a special lesson the beauty of silent resilience and depth of character. She shows us that by standing firm in our values and truth, we can face adversity with grace and at the same time be a sanctuary of peace and wisdom for others. So, as you imagine this walk through the forest, reflect on the different strengths and beauties that each tree, each woman brings to the world. And remember that amid the infinite diversity of nature, the quiet, resilient strength of the stoic woman is a beacon of inspiration, guiding us through the forest of life with serenity and unwavering determination. Unveil the secrets of ancient wisdom to overcome the challenges of the 21st century in the ebook Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges. Discover how to cultivate resilience, achieve prosperity, and strengthen your relationships. Don't miss this opportunity. Secure your copy now. Link in the pinned comment. Stoic resilience and wisdom as life tools. When we think of stoic women, what usually comes to mind? Perhaps the first thing is the idea of strength, but not that obvious visible strength. It's more of an internal force a kind of silent power that resonates in every action, in every word. And speaking of words, they don't waste them. Direct communication is like a business card for them. Just imagine, conversations without beating around the bush, where each sentence has its weight, its value, its refreshing, and at the same time, so necessary. 
But what makes this communication so impactful? Maybe it's the confidence they carry within themselves. It's not something they shout from the rooftops. It's more of a sparkle in their eyes, a posture that says, I know who I am. And this self-confidence doesn't come from external praise, but from a deep self-awareness of their abilities and limits. And if life decides to change the script suddenly, well, that's where their adaptability shines. Changes can shake many of us, but stoic women see in these twists the chance to grow, to evolve. They flow with life, like a river that adjusts to the curves of the terrain, always moving forward. This ability to lead by example, then, comes naturally. It's not that they seek to be in charge. People are naturally attracted by their integrity and the way they inspire others simply by being who they are. And that, my friends, is true leadership, the kind that motivates, that transforms without imposing. Now think of a person who maintains an air of mystery, who leaves you curious, wanting to know more. That's being enigmatic. Stoic women have this aura that makes us want to unravel what's behind that serenity, that quiet strength. And they have little time for gossip or trivialities. Their focus is on building, on creating something meaningful. This detachment from unimportant conversations is actually an invitation to look at what really matters in life. Judging others is easy, isn't it? But they choose the more challenging path to understand and accept. Each of us is on a unique journey with our own challenges and victories. This non-judgmental approach is a powerful reminder of the complexity of the human experience. And when life's storms arrive, the strength they show is no wonder. Every adversity is an opportunity to strengthen, to learn. It's not about avoiding the fall, but about how to get up after it. The balance between emotion and reason. Now there's a part that many people get wrong when it comes to Stoicism, especially regarding women who practice this philosophy. Many think that being Stoic is being cold, not feeling. But you see, it's quite the opposite. The balance between emotion and reason is an art, and Stoic women are true artists in this respect. They know that emotions are not enemies. They are signals, messages that, if well interpreted, can guide us on wiser paths. Imagine yourself in front of a complicated situation, one of those that make the heart race and the mind whirl. The easy response would be to let a wave of emotions take over, right? But the stoic woman, oh, she takes that wave and surfs it. Using her emotional intelligence, she recognizes each emotion for what it really is. Ah, this is anxiety, she might think, and here's a bit of fear, and maybe a pinch of excitement. Instead of suppressing these feelings, she accepts them, but accepting doesn't mean being dominated by them. It's more like saying, okay, I'm feeling this now, but what can I learn here? How can this help me make a better decision? And that's where reason comes in, hand in hand with emotion. This partnership allows her to see the situation from a broader, calmer perspective. Her decisions become balanced, her actions thoughtful. It's not a denial of emotions, but a conscious use of them, integrating them into the thought process in a way that enriches the human experience rather than impoverishing it. This balance brings incredible clarity. When you can manage your emotions using them together with logic, decisions become less about reacting in the heat of the moment and more about responding in a considered manner. And that, my friends, is powerful. It's like having a superpower in the real world where you're not tossed around by emotional storms but can navigate through them with a firm rudder in hand. So, far from being a suppression, what Stoic women practice is a kind of emotional alchemy. They transform emotions into allies, integrating them with reason in a way that each decision, each step taken, is richer, more informed, 
and in the end, more human. It's a reminder that feeling deeply and thinking clearly are not opposites, but complementary. And in this balance, we find not just the essence of Stoicism, but a key to a fuller and more meaningful life, sustainability and minimalism. Oh, and there's one more thing that quite defines Stoic women, the way they view the world around them, especially in terms of sustainability and minimalism. It's as if they look at life and say, less is more. And no, I'm not just talking about having fewer things. It's about valuing more what really matters. Imagine for a moment the satisfaction of living with the essentials, knowing that each object, each choice you make, has a purpose, a reason for being. This is minimalism at the heart of Stoic women. It's not just about decluttering the house, although that's also important. It's about clearing life of excess, of distractions that take us away from what is truly meaningful. And this quest for simplicity goes further, you know. It influences everything, from the small daily decisions to the big life choices, including how they consume, work, relate to others, and to the planet. Opting for a sustainable and minimalist lifestyle is a powerful statement in a world that often seems to revolve around more, more, more. By adopting sustainable practices, they are saying that every action counts, that every choice has an impact. And it's not just about reducing consumption or recycling, although that's part of it. It's about a deeper awareness of our place in the world, about understanding that we are part of something bigger and that our health and well-being are intrinsically linked to the health of our planet. And then comes minimalism with its focus on the essential. By choosing to live more simply, stoic women find more space, more time, more energy for the things that really matter and isn't it incredible how, by getting rid of material excess, we discover more about ourselves? Suddenly there's clarity where there was once only confusion. There's a sense of purpose that might have been hidden under piles of things we thought we needed, but that were actually just weighing us down. This approach to life is not just a matter of physical space, it's a matter of mental space. By embracing minimalism and sustainable practices, stoic women are, in a way, redefining wealth. It's no longer about having more, but being more. It's a more focused and intentional life, where each choice, each action, is made with full awareness of its value and its impact. So, in the end, what these Stoic women are showing us is a way of living that is both ancient and incredibly relevant to the challenges of our time. They invite us to ask, what is really important? And they remind us that sometimes, to find the answer, we need to stop accumulating and start simplifying. It's an invitation to live more fully, more richly, with less. Female resilience in professional environments. At the heart of many Stoic women's lives, you'll find a deep appreciation for sustainability and a love for minimalism. But let's get one thing straight. When they talk about minimalism, it's not just about less is more, although that's true too. It's about diving into the essence of things, choosing to live in a way that everything, every action has meaning and purpose. This isn't limited to just what they own, but permeates all the choices they make whether in personal, professional, or even the simple act of consuming. And you know what's fascinating? By embracing this simplicity, they discover incredible freedom. It's not just about freeing up physical space, but also about simplifying life, making it lighter and paradoxically more fulfilling. And this minimalist and sustainable lifestyle well, it ends up being a natural extension of this life philosophy, reflecting a desire to live with intention, focusing on what really matters. Now, if we take this conversation to the professional environment, things get even more interesting. Imagine a work world often defined by fierce competitions and rigid hierarchies. Here, 
The stoic woman stands out not because she necessarily seeks the spotlight, but because her approach to work is in itself revolutionary. She applies the same stoic principles of focus, resilience and simplicity, concentrating on her own performance and contributions instead of getting lost in concerns about others' actions and judgments. This not only helps them navigate the complexities of the work environment with enviable serenity, but also establishes an impactful and respected presence. It's as if, by maintaining their integrity and focusing on what they can truly control, they naturally rise to positions of genuine leadership. It's not a leadership achieved by power plays, but a leadership that fosters positive change, that inspires and motivates. What's truly remarkable here is how these women, armed with stoic wisdom, transform not only their personal lives, but also positively influence the environments they're part of. Whether through sustainable and minimalist choices that challenge the status quo of consumption or through their resilient and focused approach to work, they show that living according to stoic principles is not only possible, but deeply transformative. If you've made it this far, I know you're really focused on your evolution. So, leave in the comments, strength and resilience, let's keep going. Commitment to personal growth and continuous development. At the heart of the stoic woman beats an unwavering commitment to personal growth and continuous development. But what does that really mean in practice? Let's untangle this together. Imagine someone who, day after day, chooses to look in the mirror not just to adjust their hair or clothes, but to dive into critical self-analysis, always seeking ways to be better than they were yesterday. This is the essence of the dedication to continuous improvement that defines the stoic woman. She doesn't see personal growth as a box to check off as done, but as an endless journey, a path that is made by walking. For her, each day is a new blank page, a chance to learn something new, to reach out toward a slightly wiser, more resilient and more integral version of herself. Continuous learning is not just about acquiring new knowledge or skills, although that's important too. It's about deepening the understanding of oneself, the world around, and how one's actions can positively influence both. And you know what's even more interesting? She sees every experience, every challenge, every setback not as an obstacle, but as a golden opportunity for growth. That promotion that didn't come through, that project that didn't go as planned, even those moments of doubt and uncertainty, all of it becomes fuel for her personal development journey. The stoic woman understands that the path to character excellence is not paved only with resounding successes, but also with small victories, painful learnings, and the courage to get up after each fall. And in this process, she's not just strengthening herself, she's also contributing more meaningfully to society. After all, by becoming the best version of herself, she becomes a source of inspiration, a living example of how to face life with grace, courage, and a healthy dose of stoic wisdom. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you liked it, subscribe and leave your opinion. Gratitude.